An attack in the Gaza Strip has shaken the Palestinian Authority. A bomb lobbed at a convoy carrying Prime Minister Rami Hamdallah and the PA's intelligence chief. It's early to accuse anyone, but whoever is controlling Gaza is responsible for securing the scene. That's Hamas, the hardline Palestinian political organization that's controlled the Gaza Strip since it won elections there in 2006. Hamas, for its part, has reportedly blamed Israel. Hamas was founded in 1987 after the first Palestinian Intifada. It does not recognize the state of Israel and says it wants to create the state of Palestine along its pre-1947 borders. Hamas also enjoys close ties with Hezbollah in Lebanon as well as the government of Iran. While Israel and most Western countries have officially designated Hamas a terrorist organization. Hamas briefly softened its stance towards Israel after it became part of unity government with Fatah, Prime Minister Hamdullah's party. But the coalition fell apart in 2007 after the head of Fatah, President Mahmoud Abbas, sacked the Prime Minister at the time, Ismail Haniya, the head of Hamas. Fighting broke out between the two groups and it ended with Fatah in control of the West Bank and Hamas ruling in Gaza. And it's been like that ever since, with the West and Israel recognizing Fatah as the legitimate government. Israel and Egypt have also blockaded the Gaza Strip, citing security concerns. It's weakened the Palestinian cause and strengthened Israel's position in the dispute. The most prominent example being the recent success in getting US recognition for the annexation of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. A new deal could potentially bridge the divide between the two groups. An Egyptian brokered reconciliation agreement was signed by Hamas and Fatah in Cairo in October. It's come as a particular relief to Hamas, enabling access to aid for Gaza's residents, as well as allowing top Fatah officials, such as Prime Minister Hamdallah, back into the Strip. But the assassination attempt means the reconciliation agreement is clearly not popular with everyone. So, does the attack mean the Palestinian reconciliation deal is already falling apart? Or will Hamas and Fatah be able to put aside their grievances to present a united front? Shoaib Hassan, the newsmakers.